Now let's see this question. This question came in gate 2016 for two marks. The question is an operator delete i for binary heap data structure is to be designed to delete the item in the ith node. Assume that the heap is implemented in an array and i refers to the ith index of the array. If the heap tree has depth d and what is d? It is defined as the number of edges on the path from root to the farthest leaf. Then what is the time complexity? And that time complexity has to be measured in terms of d, depth d. So what is the time complexity to refix the heap efficiently after the removal of the element? Okay. So let's understand this by an example. So let's say we are handling a heap which is min heap. Okay. So let's draw some heap. So let's say it is a min heap and it is something like this. So 4, 2 and it might be 6, 7, might be 5, 3, something like that. Okay. So let's say this is a min heap. And it is given that the, this heap is stored as a as an array. Okay. In fact, that is the way in which generally a heap is stored when you whenever you are programming a heap data structure. So what it means is that there are four to six one seven. There are seven nodes. So there is an array of size seven. Okay. And we are going to put these nodes in the array but there is a particular way in which it has to be kept so in general this is a uh, binary um, sorry this is a binary tree right so in a binary tree what happens that there is a formula using which you can store the nodes of a binary tree in uh, heap uh, sorry in uh, array and the formula is while mapping if you are count counting the array index by one then the left child so if we are counting something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if these are the uh, indices of the array, then the formula is the left child of particular any node will be placed at 2 into i. That will be the place. And for the right child, the place will be 2 into i plus 1. You might already be knowing this. Just a brush up. So the first node will be put at root. So 1 will be, will be here. Next. 4 will be placed at 1 into 2 and this will be placed at 2 into 1 plus 1. So this will be 2 into 1, 2 and this will be 2 into 1 plus 1, this is 3. So 4 will be placed here and 2 will be placed at 3. In the same fashion, 6 will be placed at this fourth whatever index at which 4 is placed into 2 and this will be into 2 plus 1. So it is at 2, so 2 into 2, 4. And this is 5, 4 plus 1, 5. So 6 will be here, 7 will be here. Similarly, 5 will be here, 3 will be here. Okay. So this is the way we store. So now he, uh, the our heap is stored in the array. Now they are saying that i refers to the ith index. Then if we are deleting ith element, then we are calling it delete i. Okay. And what we have to do, we have to find the time complexity to refix once delete i operation has been done so let's say for example that delete uh, let's say delete 4 is occurring so something like delete 4 is occurring so we have to delete a particular no, uh, element which is present at the fourth index okay so this six node this we have to delete okay so we have to delete this so we have deleted this but this is not, not the way how deletion happens. How deletion happens is that whenever a particular node is deleted, actually that node is swapped with the last node. So here the last node is 3. In fact, in array also you can see the last node is 3. We swap this. So actually when we are deleting this element, we will put 3 here and actually we are going to delete this, this node. Okay. So this will be deleted. Okay, and correspondingly, what will happen in the array? This three will be deleted. Okay, and three will be put here at the place of six. 
okay so this is the new array as per the new heap but you know that this is not a heap so when we placed it three here then this now violates the property of mini heap okay and that is what they are trying to say by refix so whenever we do such an operation after that we have to do heapify in our that is we will we will have to refix the heap so that it regains the property of the heap so in this case it is a min heap so it has to again get the regain the property of min heap so what we do that from that particular node new node we keep on going towards the root and till the time the violations are occurring we keep on swapping so we check that okay so it is a min heap so uh, it must be greater than the root but here we see that this is smaller than the root so it must be swapped so four should come here and three should go there okay so three should come here and four should come here four should come here three should come here okay and the corresponding to that we do swapping here also actually this is just a representation actually the swapping ha happens here only so four and three will be swapped here so three will be here and four will be here okay <coughs> okay so uh, this is the way way to do now we have to whatever we have done just now what is the time complexity of that that we have to calculate okay so see when whenever any particular new any new any new node is put at a position the position at which the deletion operation has happened then in worst case it might have to go all the way till the root then actually whatever edges are there that that mean that is a time complexity that many number of times maximum swaps can happen so that number is basically d okay those of you who have already uh, already knowing uh, know the delete operation in a heap then they might have remembered the operation some something like uh, the delete operation the time complexity is order log n but that log n comes from here only that if the total number of nodes in the heap is n then the worst case height will be of the heap will be log n and that's why we we are calling it order log n but that is same you know, log n is same as d here why why because log n is basically the height of the uh, heap with uh, n nodes here directly the depth d is given so in terms of d it is basically simply order d right so order d why because at most d operations has to be done d swappings has to be done in order to fix the heap so in order to refix that the time complexity will be order d so the answer is order D but not order 1. So B is the correct answer.